what I do, what I do, da da do, da da do. What is up, YouTube? Today is cats. I am playing Minecraft. Uh, we're just gonna, you know, work it up. What? I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, today I thought I, um, I would share my knowledge on Gmod. Uh, I don't have much of it, but bear with me. Um, and show you a how to make an unraidable base. Um, I'm not sure if this is allowed on all servers. I've never gotten in trouble for it. But what you want to do is find a tall building like this one. Like, uh, I'm just playing on the Evil Melon map. Now, there are other maps that have tall buildings. Like, the regular Dark RP map does have buildings like this. And what you want to do is, um... I don't know, just, um... <laughs> what you want to do is, I don't know. Um, pretty much... You take, uh, something... Well, long... Longer. Uh, longer than that. Like, something about that long. And... Uh, you uh you do this uh, um, not exactly how I'm doing it uh, you do have to do it somewhat like that and uh, then you take um, a prop preferably something larger actually it has to be something larger and you just place it on either side like this um you will eventually actually put it like that and the point of this uh this actual uh what's it called the actual i can't place this right base is the key this prop right here will be reverse keypadded so you will have to keypad crack twice and after the keypad crack the first time they will have to, um, they, they can't pre they can't get in unless they know the, uh, number on the keypad. Because this part is gonna be what they're standing on, and it will just go away after a few seconds. Just long enough for you to type in the keypad, but the keypad crack will take longer. So, you'll be all set. Now, I did, uh, on my other channel, I did make a video like this, but I found out that people can jump on top of each other. Like, um... You know, like, someone jump on my head and then keypad crack it. So that is, uh, yeah. That's not good. Actually, one server, an admin actually moved it down. He got, he got, a uh, banned, I think. For, uh, not banned, uh, demoted. And now you just want to take a prop, maybe like this. And, um, put it right here. Now, you can, I'm just gonna leave these sides open. Now, you just wall these off, like normal, and wall off these doors and those you know just for safety but just for accessibility on my part I'm going to leave those walls open it'll also save a little time so I don't want to uh, you know waste you guys time with something that I'm pretty good I, I'm pretty sure that you could probably just wall off a, a wall and then you know you do you go up here you take your construction props I like to use these because if you turn Actually, this one will, should be good like that. If you turn them around, uh, what material should I use? I'm just going to use this. Actually, no, I'll, I'll do the cool camera. Like that. Because then you can uh, take this. And this is one-way. Uh, some servers I've been on have not allowed one-way props. So, they... um. You know, you could get in trouble for using that. But on the server, if you know the server allows those type of props, and you've seen it before, then go ahead and do that. And then, um, you know, you could... I'm actually going to move it up, because every server is different. Some servers don't like when you crouch and stuff. and Like, not, not when you crouch, but when you have a base that you have to crouch to get in. And then, um, take, like, something like this, maybe. Actually, you could take one of these... And put it maybe on top. And for this particular, actually, for this particular base, I'm gonna do just that because they can just climb up from right here. Um, actually, I'm gonna use this prop to just get over. Um, um, is that even gonna work? 
Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna mess around with it too much. I'll I'll just go on this side actually and do it. Oh hey, it took a little damage. I'll just go on this side. Just take some like this. Move it like that. Can I walk up that? No, it has to be a little lower. Yeah, just like that. And then I would just take a construction prop and just plop that over. Ah! Or, you know, up. it's probably not that easy. I feel so stupid. And uh, you will probably build faster than me because I, I always take time in uh, doing things like this. And like I said, just for accessibility, I'm not going to do all this stuff. Uh, I might just do one more of those. Uh, just plop it down. Just like that. You know, and then this would be obviously walled off. You know, I'm just going to put like a... I don't know, like a fence and no collide it. Just show you guys where you could wall it off. You could actually just wall it off. You could actually just like make it so this would be like that. You know, you could do that. And that's probably what I would do. That's what I would recommend doing. Just actually, this one wasn't really put in right. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. Um, ah, get out of that doorway! Yay! Most servers won't prop push you like that either. So, you know, I'm just gonna open these up just for accessibility, um, which is very important. And since that would be all walled off, you know, you can wall it off with whatever you want, but then you would have this, and. Yeah, you'd have to actually crouch to get to that, so... You know what? If, if you are on a server that does not allow crouching doorways or whatever they're called, um, just simply raise the height of this. It can be done. I probably went too far in the first place then what you want to do is just grab a prop to plop that thing on the uh, the keypad I like to use these because it kind of looks sort of cool and I just probably I usually leave the doors open so I can see what's going on easier outside and then you just take a um oh wait where's the keypad hmm do I not have fading doors on single player I don't think I do. Well, that's a problem. Anyways, I I would just no collide it. Your keypad would go right there, you know, and I'm just going to no collide it. Uh, to make a fading door, if you do not know how, you would just simply take this keypad, see where it says access granted, you set that to a random key that I like to use just the number pad because I don't use that too much. It can be any key you want. Then you would have a fading door tool somewhere in here. You click that, you change it to the same key, and click the fading door. And um, to do this, what you would do uh, for this keypad, I would take a uh, the number. I would press, like I would hold the keypad, uh, the this number that I talk, uh, toggled for the fading door. I'd fade door this thing I'm standing on, and then I'd come back here. And uh, hold that button that I set it to and put in the keypad. And then I'll like, unhold the button. That will reverse the fading door effect. Same with this. But for this, I'm just going to no collide it. Just because, you know, I just for some reason don't have fading doors. I probably do. It's probably locked somewhere. I forgot about it or something. I don't know. And then you want to place down a platform. Matter of fact, I can show you guys a cool little trick I like to do with these. If you take World Glow, make sure you select it right here and color World Glow. Set it to white if you want to use a material. If not, you can set it to a color. And then you just 
uh, click the things that you want world glowed. Then you take a certain material, which is, if I can find it, this one right here. Click that, you can see through it. So you could also, you could do that, so I'll be like, you know, I'll give it, let me get a weapon out. Oh. I could be like, they probably don't have his, you know, this. Oh, this doesn't even shoot through anything. Um. A lot of servers use M9K. See, so you could just shoot through that and you'll be fine. Um, most servers will allow you to do that as well. Um, some, if they don't let you with one use uh, one-way props, that's no problem. You don't have to. That's just a personal preference of mine. Then you would just want to take a prop like this. Uh, like these two props. And just make a, a way down for yourself. Like this. You know, so you could get through your base and stuff. Oh, wrong material. I would usually wall off any of the doorways that I'm not going to use with something that no one can uh, just do anything with. I'll just like do something like this and you know it's blocked off and no one can get into that way. Now it, some servers make it so props can be knocked over if you wanted. To avoid that weld all the props together if the if everything can't be welded like if the server does not allow you to weld everything together then what you want to do is kinda nothing there's really nothing you can do about that other than welding uh, unless you know your own way I really like this weapon alright so this would be all walled off I can actually wall it off real quick and then just no collide it if I want to and I do want to just to give you the full feel on how this would all feel. And sorry if I sound a little tired. I hope I don't. It's just I'm a little um tired and worn out. I just came back from boxing. So I'm a little, little tired. Nothing biggie. And I work tomorrow, so yeah, that sucks as well. Um, That is being weird. Is this not no collided? Huh? Oh, look weird. All right, that's not perfect, but you can you can make it perfect. Matter of fact, I could use the precision tool, and the precision tool will let me make it perfect. If I have it, that is, because some of the some things I don't have. What is this? What? That would be awesome. Wait, can this hurt me? <laughs> oh, I just killed myself. That happened. I just want to try this other one out real quick too. Hoverboards sound cool. You know, on an RP server, this, this probably won't happen. This is so awesome. Alright, back to business. Back to business of me getting sidetracked by cool hoverboards. Um, I'm just gonna use a material. Uh, where is the material? Right there. I'm just gonna hit that. Oh, it doesn't work on that. And, um, hmm, what else is there really to be done on the base? Uh, I can show you a cool printer thing that I like to use on bases. Uh, most bases are, I mean, bases, most servers are different, and they might have different types of printers. But all in all, this should work for most of the servers. It's like that square fat printer. Um, just throw throw a couple of these down. It's not going to be perfect. And I can't do it because I don't have the precision tool. What you would do 
is take a prop like this. You would put it over, obviously make it perfect, precision tool it back so it's in there, and then take a glass prop and no collide it. I'm just going to avoid that. For those of you who don't know how to use the precision tool, you just take a piece of glass, make it a fading door, and throw it over right there. And then you can plop, your printers would be put down so they're facing, like they're standing upright and they'll be facing you. And then, um, yeah, there's nothing really else to do on this base. I mean, except for a roof, which I'm not going to put in. Um, you could, but, you know, I, I don't want to waste my time doing that, like I said. And, yeah, so, you just put in a roof, and you would be finished. Uh, now, if you guys want to keep up on my channel, you can subscribe. I love new viewers. I love responding to my comments, you guys. I love everything about you. And, yeah, so, this is my channel pretty much check out my other videos and if you like what you see make sure to subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you guys later